we're going on a little field trip today to update a story we did last month about the hunt for an incredibly rare one-of-a-kind item. Okay, it's a Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering playing card. And when it was found, it got multiple multi-million dollar offers. A highly sought after collector's card found by a Toronto man. He's remaining anonymous for now, but tells CBC News he's a cashier and forklift operator. Well, we finally know who he is and who he sold the card to. <laughs> yeah, Post Malone. He now owns Sauron's ring. And the guy who posted that video to Twitter, Brooke Trafton, he's actually the person who originally found the card right here at this comic book store in Toronto back in June. So we're here today not just to get a look of the site where the card was originally found, but we're actually going to go hear the story of how all of this unfolded from Brooke himself. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Fantastic. We're here, we're in the spot where you found the card. Um, yes. Take me through that, what was that like? In the store, it wasn't surreal. I came in actually before the store opened, I was the first one in the doors, first one in the counter. I had a pre-order of one box. I asked them if they had more, and luckily they had a couple extra, I bought two more. So you bought three boxes total? Three boxes all together. Okay. I ended up going back, taking the subway home. I opened the first box, Nothing really crazy in it. So you're home now, opening yeah, the box? Okay. Yeah, you know, I took a break, started opening the second one. It was like the fourth card and I almost went past it. But it, I, I seen it and I was like, this is something crazy. And then I put it down, I took a picture, then I'm like, okay, this is, this is the one of one. I put it in the sleeve, I took that video on TikTok. You could see my excitement. I was mm -hmm. shaking, like I, I, I knew, I knew it was, it was something special. The Post Malone thing wasn't necessarily on the table at all. Like, so how did that happen? Luck. <laughs> you, you are a lucky <laughs> <It was> guy. <laughs> luck. I, I was at work. I got a phone call 10 minutes into my shift. Carly's like, where are you? What? That's your PR? Yeah. That, yeah. yeah, PR. You gotta come downtown like right now. Bring it with you. She explained that we were just gonna go meet him, you know, show him the car, take some pictures. And when we got there, like things ex escalated like quickly. Okay, so we actually have the video here of you meeting Post Malone at the concert and him looking at the cards. It was, it's still, it's still wild. I, I'm so glad they cropped out a lot of it because I cried a lot. You know, we showed him the card, we were talking. He asked, you know, how much is it going for right now? And, you know, we told him what the current bid was. So he, he looked at it and, and as soon as he saw the commander, he said yes. And I didn't know, like, at that point, I'm like, first of all, I was already in disbelief that I was there. I had to ask him to repeat himself. I'm like, pardon? Like, what do you, yeah. he's like, I'll, I'll buy the card. And that's history. <laughs> that's history. I mean, what were you thinking? You're standing there at Post Malone's concert, this guy you love, this game you love, like. It, it was a dream. Like it wasn't like a, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Cause he's a player of the game, right? Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to have it go to him? Yeah, I know that he's gonna appreciate it. You know, that it's not, um, that it's gonna live. That was the best term I heard. It's, it's, it's not just gonna be buried in a, in a safe just to, you know, intrinsically make more value. He, he's gonna, he's gonna showcase it. I can guarantee that he's gonna like, and let people see it and touch it and take pictures. Mm. I, I, that, to me, this was the best possible place I could go. Presumably your life has changed quite a bit, I guess. A lot. I, I've had a really rough year. I, my mom was diagnosed with cancer and passed mm. away in April. The hard part for me was, you know, not being able to like call her and tell her the good news, but I know like she was part of it. I'm still going to work. Mm. I, I love my job and you know the people I work with so I'm going to continue to do that. A lot of people win the lottery and they lose it or they spend it all and stuff and I'm staying away from that as much as I can so I'm going to invest it in such a way that I get interest or a dividend or something like that and with that money then I could you know get gifts or do charity and help people out 
and because I'm still going to work. Are you still going to play Magic? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Kind of puts I, the magic in the game now. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent.